Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of The Oval Season 3, Episode 3. If you were new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you're returning, you're one of my people, well, welcome back. Before we get into this video, I want to shout out to all my new subscribers. For whatever reason, I've gotten a few over the last few days and I do appreciate you guys. It's just that YouTube isn't letting me know, like, usually, like, subscribe to you, but I haven't been getting that. But I want to let y'all know, if y'all watching this video, I really do appreciate y'all, each and every one of y'all who have subscribed to me. And I'm going to try to be a little bit better on getting on my community board. And I did put a post, but I guess if you... You gotta go to the community board, but I was wondering, do y'all guys, do you guys want me to re review the new um, 4400? I'm thinking about watching it, and I'm thinking about um, reviewing it because I love a good where y'all been, what's going on, how long you, how come you've been gone for the past 40 years, and you still looking the same, and you still got that same outfit on. So y'all, let me know, do y'all want me to re um, review the 4400? Now on to the oval. Now, y'all, <clears throat> excuse me about that. I enjoyed this episode. I was wondering how come Priscilla was not backing down to Victoria. I thought it was more of, I'm so angry right now that I'm not leaving. But boy, was I wrong. Priscilla's sitting there talking about saying, I just want to talk. You know, Victoria, she got to do all the calling you out your name and doing this, that, and the third. But she was on hush. When Priscilla mentioned um, evil today, evil today, the granddaddy, and she was like, "Now what? Now?" She's like, "Yeah." Wait a minute. She's like, "You done hunched on the wrong woman, sis." And I was like, "I think you have because." It look like that Priscilla is the mole, and she is the one that has been working with Evil City the Grandma and Evil City the Grandpa in the Evil City Society. That's what I'm going to call all the people that is in charge of making sure that Hunter got into the White House, the Evil City Society. That's what I'm going to call them. But yeah, Priscilla, um, Victoria's like, you're fired. She's like, yeah, mm -hmm, whatever, girl. I'll be in the kitchen if you need anything and just walked off. And I was like, I am loving this. I got, the, I am speaking very calm, but I am reading you. And I have this, I'm calm, but like in my eyes, I look like I can just, I'm going to snap you in half with just my mind. I am loving that. I really am. Bobby and his beard and Lily are getting on my nerves. Like, this dude is supposed to be on the run from, like, the FBI, the Secret Services, and all this stuff. But you want to hide up in Lily's attic. There were so many things wrong with this scene. Like, the blinds of the attic was open. I don't know. Maybe if I'm on a run and things like that, I would want to be hid somewhere, you know, not up under the people who are trying to kill me's nose. I don't know. Maybe we should have these blinds closed. Maybe he shouldn't be up in the attic. Maybe Lily shouldn't be up here bringing him a sandwich. Now, my thing is, yeah, it's cool and all that you got a tracker on Donald's car and you know where he's going at all times. But what about the people that he has looking at the house? The people he has looking after Lily. They could be like, oh, snap, Donald. There, yeah, the light was on up in your attic. At this certain time, the blinds was open. It looked like some big old man with wide shoulders and a beard was up there. Lily was up there talking to that person. I'm like, oh my god, y'all, y'all getting on my nerves. Like Bobby and his beard, you were supposed to be like top flight stealth um, operating person. Why are you in the attic? This don't make no sense. So, Victoria, she mad. She can call Sam and Agent Tox a lot down to the kitchen. So, Priscilla and Richard, they in there having them a good, you know, having them some tea, just talking, laughing. Richard is all snooping, get, get up. Victoria's like, drag her out. And, Victor and Priscilla's looking like, okay, you gonna drag me. Agent Tox a lot. I was like, Priscilla, can you please just leave? Because, like, he got respect for Priscilla. Even though, like, the, you know, the first lady, Victoria, is giving these demands. And Priscilla was like, I am not going anywhere. And Sam was looking like, bruh, 
you are making this harder than what it should be. And Priscilla's like, oh, is that the phone ringing? It's like, you know it ain't the phone ringing. Well, it was the phone ringing. And it was Evil City D. Grandpa. Yeah, and he was like, leave Priscilla alone. She got y'all back. Okay? And then she hung up the phone and Priscilla's like, do you still want me removed, ma'am? I know Victoria is doggone boiling over inside. She is hot as fish grease at the fact that I want to fire you. I have been, I've been hunched, I hunched on your husband. First, I was flirting with your husband. I hunched on your husband. I've been rubbing it in your face that I hunched on your husband. And now I want to fire you when I can't because my evil sedity grand, my evil sedity daddy. I know she is but hurt. But, you know, everybody else is looking like, what is going on? Rich is like, you should be fired. Sam's looking like, you should be fired. Agent talks a lot, looking like, you should be fired. Why are you not fired? What is going on? Yeah. But Priscilla did let, um... What the... Oh, Victoria, though, no, that Sam don't even know nothing about this. I would have known how, when did she get recruited? Was this like from President's back she been, you know, with the Evil Sedili Society? Is it just when Hunter then was getting into office? I have questions. I'm happy about them. I just have questions. So Donald's over there talking to um, Alan. He's like, you don't believe me when I say that Lily in her messed up wig is not hunching on the president. And he I was like, um, off the record, she told me everything. It's like, oh, dang, I didn't know that. It's like, off the record, yeah, sir, you knew they was hunching on each other. You know, you knew it. I would have appreciated it if it had to come from you. All right. I am hurt about this. And since we being truthful, I know that you and um, Kyle are lovers. Y'all in love. He's like, what? Who are you talking about? And then he got to talk about something, you know, that makes me excited. And then he's like, oh, so you're coming on to me? I was like, where did this, where did this conversation go? My thing is, he's like, if you want me to protect me, you, I need you to tell me the truth. I was like, Alan, you keep on talking. You're going to be up in the arms of the angels. You don't know Donald. Donald got so mad at Dale because Kyle was hunting on Dale like one or two times and hired somebody to shoot Dale. You don't know how messed up this man is. Then Alan, he trying to leave. And here come creepy Jason being creepy like always. He talking about some. I thought we were friends. Um, When did y'all become friends? Because you said that um you don't like your daddy because he's hunting on Lily and her messed up wig. And y'all agreed that that is messed up. When did this friendship happen? But then again, this is all in Jason, creepy Jason said. He let this fool know, we not friends. And I was like, see? You gonna end, it's either Donald gonna get you or Creepy Jason gonna get you. Either way, you gonna end up in the arms of the angel. Shoot, Victoria got her way, she might get you too, because we seen that at the end, but we gonna get to that. So Jason tries to go over there to, what's her name, Ellie and her messed up wig. Like, look here, Ellie and your messed up wig. You need to be safe. Creepy Jason was around here being creepy again. I just want you to look at, oh, I am safe. I am in the White House. Girl, Mistress Niece thought that too. She gone. She forever in the flames. Jean thought that too. She's in the arms of the angel. You, this creepy Jason followed you to, got in the trunk of your car, went to your house and attacked you. You not safe. Just because you hunting on a person that don't make you safe. Just because you in the White House don't make you safe. Wait, wait, we seen um, Alan, he didn't went home. I don't know if he locked the door, but I know one thing. When I come in the house, soon as doggone it, the door shuts, I'm locking it. One swift motion, you know. And sometimes I'm, once I get the door, unlock, my screen door unlocked, I'm locking it because I can just turn it with the little lock. I don't need the key. I just turn it and then shut it and then lock the top lock with the screen door, then I shut the main door and locked that too. It looked like he just came in the house and didn't do no locking, even though 
they was broken into and Ellie in her messed up wig was assaulted by creepy Jason not too long ago. But anyways, some dude that came in with a bat. Alan, you don't have no weapon on you. You thought that you was going to like take this dude down and had a bat? Really, sir? But anyway, dude there's like, I'm going to beat on you until you beat on Ellie and her messed up wig. That's what I am here for. I'm like, why don't you do it yourself? You are not above a not going out here fighting with mistresses. You fought with Mistress Denise at her shop and in the White House. So that's not above you. Y'all, what else happened? We had this little scene with Barry and Nancy. He was trying to get high. No me smoking in my house. I need to calm down. Okay, but just open up a window. You know, the nosy neighbor lady, Jody, she gonna be up here talking. Yeah, she probably smelled too. Ha ha ha. We seen this scene with um Sharon. She at the hospital with Dale. Kareem show up mad because she want to be there with him. I'm like, Dale has been through some things the last few days. He was trying to help folks out and end up getting with y'all that go knocked off the road in a car, the truck tumbled over a few times. And now, doggone it, he didn't get no help with that. And then he gets shot. Yeah, sure, I want to be for here, for here for this man. Because, like, he ain't got nobody else. But anyway, y'all, that was just. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, Welcome, feel free to subscribe to this free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notification on so when my beautiful face puts up a video, you can click on it, you can like it and share it with your people, and you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell the people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.